We talked about Janet's DIY project, which was tiling her kitchen. However, we could expand this activity to building a house. Planning to build a house is a good way to demonstrate the application of the planning elements and determining what is to be included. The key point here is thinking through the ideal ordering of undertaking these activities. For example, a key activity is installing a roof. However, this can't be done until the wall frames are installed. So a typical house build might go something like this. Preparing the lot, laying the foundations, putting up the wall frames. Now our roof frame can go up. Now our frame is up, we need to think about installing the plumbing and wiring before completing the interior walls. Once this is done, you could finish both the interior and exterior of the house. The correct sequencing of these activities will also enable the development of the optimal time frame for completion of the house. Detailed attention to planning and managing the necessary resources is required to construct a house, from its foundations to completion, so that the keys to the house can be handed over to the buyer upon completion. And now let's use the home construction as an example to apply the scope, scheduling and costing in the planning phase of the life cycle.